<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Dieter's Corner. <laughs> no, no. Uh, we're bringing back the Name Raiders. Remember the Name Raiders? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was a show where we critiqued the nicknames of our favorite Pokemon, and it was a really good show, and a lot of people liked it. So what we're doing is we're bringing it back. Yeah, and even though you didn't ask for it. <laughs> hopefully people will like it. So this is season two of the Name Raiders, and basically how it's going to go is well, each episode, one of us, Dieter or I, will name three Pokemon that we have mm -hmm. and give their nicknames, and the other one will be a uh, raider, rating them on a scale of Pokeball, which is the lowest, to Master Ball, which is the highest. So, Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Master Ball. So, one through four. <laughs> and to, to start things off, it'll be my turn first. So, I'll be naming three Pokemon, and Dieter I'll will be, be saying... I'll be the name raider. Yeah, he'll be the name raider for the day. So, let's go. Alright, the first one of my Pokemon is Karma the Zatu. Um, so, it's a Zatu named Karma. I... Okay, I'm trying to think of why he's nicknaming it Karma, and I'm thinking because of magic bounce, probably, you know, like, unless I'm just reading too much into it, but, um, but, um, <laughs> you know, like, magic bounce when you use the status move or yeah, such, yeah. it bounces, mm -hmm. so Karma, know, you yeah, know, sure, yeah. Karma, um, so I'll give it, like, a great ball. Whoa, a great ball. <laughs> a why, why are you giving it a great ball? Because I don't know, I don't... Other than that reason, I don't see why you name it that. <laughs> great first episode okay. back, huh? Yeah, right? So please explain why you nicknamed it. Okay, well, honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> but I really okay. liked the whole idea of it being it having to do with magic bounce. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead that and go with correct. that. Oh. No, I like that a lot. Um, I didn't. I don't think I ever thought oh, of that. Okay. But I think it had something to do with like its Pokédex entry, oh, and it's a psychic type. And this. here, let me let's go ahead and read one of its. Yeah, Pokedex I like to entries. read the entries to yeah. help me think of it and if I'm stuck. Or I just um, right loading up the Pokédex. <laughs> nickname them based off the letters in their name. Uh, that's always fun too. That's always a good way to go. Can we do that? Yeah, we should. Wait, have we done that? Yeah, but... One of my favorite Pokemon ever is Murkrow. Okay. Here's a Pokedex entry from Pokemon X version for Zatu. Once it begins to meditate at sunrise, the entire day will pass before it will move again. <laughs> and with that, I'll just go ahead and take my Great Ball and pass. <laughs> Next up, we have... Wanda, the Clefable. Looks like she's flipping us off. <laughs> she pretty much is. <laughs> okay, um, I actually re really like this nickname because I get the references, I guess. Um, it's, I'm assuming, referencing Fairly Odd Parents, the fairy godmother Wanda, or you no. Know? And because she's pink and a fairy, so I'd, let's see why. And okay. then also, Wanda is wand. Oh, the wow. Great <laughs> <laughs> okay, first episode I could back. Give you a Pokeball. <laughs> no, but I'll give it a. a I don't know if I give it an Ultra Ball or a Great Ball. What do you think? You're the judge. <laughs> I'll give it Ultra Ball. Okay, based on it being if it is named after Fairy Godparents, I'll name it. I mean, I'll give it an Ultra Ball. All right, so this is another one where I don't remember. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I think part of it was yes to okay, reference Fairly Odd Parents because yeah, she is pink and she is magic and a fairy, right? And uh, and also the fact that you know Clefable has to do with like magic, mm -hmm. and so you know wand, magic wand, Wanda. I just thought it was a cute name and, and kind of unique, and uh, it's a cool name for a person. It's not a cool name. <laughs> But for a, for a fat fairy, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but yeah, it's a cool it's a what cool name. And parents find oh, your name or one. Jimbo, if your mom name I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um. So, I just thought it was a cool name and it suited the whole kind of magic aspect okay. of. Uh, I like my clef explanation. Clefable. Okay. So yeah. Thanks for judging my clefable. No problem. 
Um, so yeah, also let us know what you thought of Wanda mm-hmm. as a nickname for Clefable. Mm-hmm. And let's go to number three then. Third so, and last. So far I have a Great Ball and an Ultra Ball. Let's see what my last one will have in store. Okay. All right, and lastly here we have Swamp Thing, the Draggle G, or the Bad Mask Picture. Swamp Thing. Okay, um, well, I will give that <laughs> a Pokeball. Wow, so su- it's so subjective. Uh, Swamp Thing, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> what? what? What don't you? <laughs> Uh, I just think you can name it something cooler. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna remember that. <laughs> Do you remember why you named it that? Okay, so this one, I named it Swamp Thing because, and this is a little, one that's a little hard to explain, but basically, um, it lives in a swamp. No. Well, I don't know, for some reason, um, I thought the name Swamp Thing sounds really cool to me, like as a title and as a name. And so, for some reason, that was something that stuck with me that I thought would be uh, cool. And I used to name my Gyaradoses Swamp Thing. Mm. Um, so you recycle. And also, I've named my my Swamperts There's Swamp no Thing. Sentiment so to this name. <laughs> I just really like that name, Swamp Thing, and so I want to apply it to as many things as I can. Horrible. And I just and I just really like Dragalge as well. And it clearly looks like something that could live in a swamp, lurk in a lagoon. Um, and Should have named it Lagoon. <laughs> Lagoon is a really cool name, but um, but anyway, yeah. So so it's just because I like that name, and I and I like Dragalge enough to give it that name. So. Okay. Well, I'm not going to happily take my Pokeball. You went. You know, Dieter. You know what you can do with that Pokeball, Dieter. <laughs> you can what? get it. And so, thank you very much for watching this first returning episode. This, we'll call this season two. Yes. So we'll go by season. The first season was what? Uh, well, this two is- years ago. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so two years later, we have season number two yeah. for the Pokemon Name Raiders. That I've been waiting for. Yes, because we haven't done. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring this up now. Um, we haven't done Pokemon content in probably a year, or maybe and this more. But we started. And this is yeah, this is our the first thing we did because we saw that a lot of people who did Pokemon um, did battles, right? Yeah, and we love. And showdowns. we love battles. We love doing battles. So we wanted to do that, but we also wanted to do something that no one else has ever done before. And so that's where we thought of doing name raiders, where we would basically rate names. <laughs> And so, since we both like Pokemon a lot, you know, it just seemed fitting. And so, we definitely have not forgotten about Pokemon. It's just we've been really busy. So, I mean, I, we can't say we've been busy because we've been playing other games. But it's just mm. the whole Pokemon thing. I don't know. For some reason, we just kind of fell out of it. Yes. But um, we're not, back into it. Yeah, we are getting back into it. We do love Pokemon. We always have. But it's just something that it just happened to like. We just happened to be on Hopefully a hiatus. you like it too. Yes, yes. So we'll let us know what you thought. Pokemon, there are probably plenty of newer of you, yes. newer of you, <laughs> since the first one. So and that, maybe we'll bring yeah. some old friends back. Mm-hmm. We will also at some point do community yes. name writers again, which is where we have you submit nicknames and we rate them harshly. <laughs> Spec- <laughs> we ain't giving out any master balls yet. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for watching. Bye.